I'm Sir Tap Tap. When we last left off, we got jumped by a cat girl. I've had worse fates. And we're just doing the old, you know, flip right over him technique. Donk. Ha! Donk. No, seriously though, how, how do fur freckles work? Any furries in, in the comments, please explain. <laughs> Not bad. After all this time, still strong as ever. I'd say the same for you. What a workout. I haven't felt that adrenaline in ages. I forgot what it felt like to spar with you. Yeah, that was fun. I miss getting to train with you regularly. But if it means never having to draw my dagger again, I don't mind being this being an occasional treat. Yeah. I still remember you used to train with me at the castle. So hard to beat you back then. Look at you now, kicking my butt like nobody's business. Training with you back then sure was a highlight of, during my time at the castle. Hard to believe I used to be so wary of you when you first showed up. Sorry about that back then. So I figured beast types were like all furry and like the other ones were like zero, like 10% furry, but no, she's like 90% furry, but I guess it's just the aggression. No worries. I'm usually a bit off-putting at first. I mean, I would say I look way less beast type, but I guess it's all... It's a matter of whether they attack you. <laughs> Which, you know, speaking of fantasy racism, kind of, I always thought it was dumb that, like, oh, it's it's an allegory about the orcs being mistreated because, you know, they're like black people and they're just the same. It's like, that, that when, when it's racial allegories, the thing about racism in real life, big tangent here, but the thing about racism in real life is that races, like, don't exactly exist the way people think. Like, black people are not, like, 100% different from white people and stuff. When you have orcs, and they just are, like, child-eating savages and stuff, the whole allegory goes out the window, and you're describing a totally different situation than real-life racism. So, I think, actually, it would be really, it would make a lot more sense for the quote-unquote bad people, like the orcs. They're literally just the same as elves, we just don't like the orcs. I always thought that would be a cool reveal and a fantasy thing. Like, you hear up all this build-up, you're, you're, you're with the elves, they're talking about how the orcs are savages, they kill people, they're giant, they're brutes, and then you see an orc, and it's literally, it looks exactly like an elf. And if you if you weren't an elf, you wouldn't see any difference. You're just like, what? It'd be like the difference between, like, Romulans and Vulcans. Anyway. No worries. No worries. I'm usually just a bit off-putting at first. Anyway. Seems like things worked out pretty nicely for you afterwards. Seem a lot happier these days working at your cafe. Cat Girl Cafe. It's one of the best decisions I ever made. I heard you took a job on the side with Este at the post office, right? I'd honestly say I may work at the castle as my side job, actually. If I could, I'd solely work at the post office. But the prince wants to keep me under surveillance. Eh. I'd say yes, you work at the castle to access that power of yours. Yeah, well, that's part of it, too. I think the third part of it is that he's pretty lonely. Just take care of yourself, alright? Hmm? What do you mean? Where'd that come from? I'm saying I don't trust the crown. I mean, literally, why would you ever trust royalty? Like, they, they are the people that could unquestionably screw you over and everyone would take their side. Like, 0% trust for me in any royalty figure, ever. If you mean the prince, I think you might have the wrong idea about him. Besides, you didn't trust me at first either, right? This is different. You haven't seen what I've seen. It's the reason I quit work and ran off, you know. Hmm? I mean, there are skulls in the dungeon. Well, never mind. You're pretty strong. You'll be able to handle whatever comes your way. Since the prince likes you, I bet he won't let you see anything too messy. I wonder what kind saw that made her quit working at the castle. Oh well. She just likes the prince this much. Can't imagine what you think of Zara. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the cafe now. Feel free to talk by again anytime you like. Well, we have met cat girl girlfriend. We've got witch girlfriend, we've got cat girl girlfriend. So, uh, we're doing pretty good in life. And we got prince girlfriend. So we got three girlfriends, goddamn. Well, when you got bunny ears and like a succubus walk cycle like this. I mean, look at this. Th that is some succubus walkage. Talking about a fountain, huh? Have you seen a fountain here, Mr. Fox? No? It's just this forest thing really reminds me of um, uh, Harvest Moon Forests. I always wish they were a bit bigger. 
All right, so I don't know what's in here. We're gonna do it. Immediately go to the basement. That's always where the good stuff is. My reflection started laughing. <laughs> it's like that one place in um, in um, Chrono Trigger. What an impressive looking sword. Somebody's overcompensating. Is that a portrait of himself? It smiled back at me. Why is this house so creepy? <laughs> we got some spook quartz. This crystal. It's really soothing. Just crystal basement. Okay. I want some. Give me give me some crystal. Y'all got any of that materia? You weren't here before. You saw it, didn't you? Oh, y yeah. But so. Y yeah. You're not gonna let me leave now that I've seen it. So this is if you missed it, if if you forgot, this is that that creepy, sexy demon dude that we met at the very beginning that. Has a very weird liking to us and like stalks people and makes people get lost in the forest. And uh, his house seems like what you would expect for a person like that. There's nothing in here. He doesn't wear clothes. He's just, that's just what he is. He's just born with what he wears. These beds are surprisingly very soft and fluffy. What's up, buddy? Those of us who work for Lord Zara have never been have either been created by him, or have been acquired by him. Thanks. Disturbing. Did you enjoy your stroll to the Crown's Castle? Ours is much better, don't you agree? How did you know I went there? Creepy. Not even cranberry juice. Well, it smells really good. They won't trick me with tasty food. I do wonder what they're baking though. Probably people. Oh, you've come, miss! Is there anything I can get you? Stay as long as you like. No. I want to raid your fridge, though. I feel like I shouldn't look through his fridge. I don't know what that guy eats. Is it sunny out? Looks like a nighttime from this window. Is the glass tinted? Nah, it's just weird person magic. If I've learned anything from video games, is that if you're sufficiently weird, you get the ability to control reality. Just a little bit. Reflection. Why did it make a pain expression? This room being kept by for a certain someone. We tidy it up every day as we wait for the day they join us. And who would that someone be? Probably me. My reflection. Just smile back at me. Fancy lamp. Wait, what did it say? It seems to emanate a dark aura. I'm so I love checking all of the, the the descriptive text in games. If I made a game, it would just be like that would just be my job for days. Descriptive text. That's all I want to do. If you need somebody to write descriptive text for your game, hit me up. Like, seriously, I I just love descriptive text. It just adds so much to the world. And it kind of sucks that now that everything's like real-time 3D, dick around with the camera stuff, it's all just kind of like, eh. You can just see stuff. It's not the same. You don't get the same feeling as when, you know, you, you get to describe the nuances and be like, hmm, this thing gives me the feeling of a dark aura, like, like it literally just did. You can't necessarily get the same way. When it's just visual. Spooky! Hello, Mr. I. Never go in that room again. Okay, let's just... It's Greg's room. Don't go in fucking Greg's room, ever. My reflection! Nah. Hi, Parker. Do you want to go to the eye room? I see! Yeah, don't don't get your feet off the camera, please, or the, the the keyboard, please. Sorry, not even you may enter Lord Zara's room, but but he has like a weird crush on me. Maybe Zara is like fourth boyfriend girlfriend. He's like vampire girlfriend. That's right, Parker. Moo, moo. Yes, Parker. So the the, 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 the the problem right now is I have no idea what to do. I thought maybe that would lead me to like a thing. Where's Hintbird? Ooh, what's this? It's a fox versus wolves. I shouldn't walk in the middle of this. Good luck, Mr. Fox. 
You, you kick him in the dick. So... Um, I have no idea what to do. Um, I'm gonna try to find a hint bird. Uh, I guess... I guess once I find hint bird... I'm gonna see... Robot arm lady. She's... Are you hint bird? <laughs> Let me give you... Just make all of the birds hint bird. And I would be... 75% less lost. Because I no longer remember where hint bird was. And I keep talking to every bird, hoping it'll be Hint Bird. Centaur. Tiger Furry Centaur, okay. Hey, hey, wanna wrestle with me? That seems ill-advised. That seems exceedingly ill-advised. Sorry, I don't really feel like doing that. Yeah, that's a good call. Hey, don't lie to me. I saw you earlier. Uh-oh, we have set events in motion. You're going to be visited by three furries tonight. One is the furry of death. You're really strong. I saw you fighting earlier. With someone else. Oh no. Did she mean with Kalina? She saw that? Um, Fight with me. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Fight with me. Ah. Uh-oh. This is bad. Talk about playing rough. Tell me about it. It's a good thing I had to be walking by. Yeah, that was good timing. Not really my best at the moment. Sealing with this beast type my own would have been tricky. It's a kitty! She seems harmless in this flash. <laughs> Wait, my power is to- I just turned them back into animals? Seal this seems no different from a regular cat after all, huh? Yeah. That barn of yarn- <laughs> That ball of yarn you had with you really dealt the final blow. Also, why did you have that with you? I wonder why she's feeling so riled up. I don't know. It's not the only one who slashed out at me recently, though. Well, she shouldn't be a problem for a while. Yeah, it's really cute in this form. It's a nice, nice ingredient for my latest work. No! No, no, no. Well, I'm heading back to the house. I'll see you later. I hate witches. Creepy. But don't be like that. What was that all about? Kitty. Meow. It would be really weird to have like a cat that like you know is a person, but for, for right now, that they're a cat. That's weird to me. Um, are we already back home? No, not quite. Huh. So I guess you are just supposed to kind of just wander. So we found that. Ominous. Butterfly. Butterfly zone! What's going on in the butterfly zone? I saw you. I saw you. Mm -hmm. How'd they get this deep into the forest? Okay, so there is stuff going on, huh? I feel pleasant. It's a fairy circle. Okay. Something's going on over here. Something's definitely going on. Don't don't tell me you want to fight too. You've got a ponytail, you're dangerous, I know. I know how anime works. The barrier is broken, but it's really so ineffective right now that anyone could just wander this far in. Hello there. Are you lost? You need help getting back to the village? Am I lost? <laughs> yes, I believe I am. But not in the way you think I am. Don't you give me that sultry kissy kissy face. Oh. What does that mean? Um. Ah, yes. I remember you quite well. Ah. Have you met somewhere before? We have indeed. At the shrine earlier. Oh, right! Yeah, I, I know there's something going on. We should go back to that shrine, shouldn't we? I figured there would be some trigger for something to happen there, but I just wasn't sure what it was. This is probably it. I mean, before that. Indeed, we have. So, uh, not to be rude, but... Who are you? Who am I? Yes! Who am I indeed? I am a dragon! Who you so thoughtlessly beat up not too long ago. You are gonna fight me! Dragon! You mean, you were created by Zara? I was, yes. I was once as familiar. Now you aren't? That is correct. I didn't know that. Familiars could stop being familiars. But you don't look like the dragon I fought. Yes! I suppose this form isn't very convincing. So, allow me to show you. 
Look, she's actually a thousand year old dragon, if you guys don't understand. Behold! My true appearance! What's up? Hello, final boss. Oh, I see now. That's a look I recognize. Well, if you still plan to destroy the area, I'll stop you again. Ha! You needn't worry. I will not attack you or anyone near here. I have only one target. And that is Zera. Zera? Your goal is to kill Zera? That's surprising. I didn't do it. I think he kind of deserves it. So they have a lot of questions. I will humor your curiosities. The best of my abilities. Well, at the start, it's no coincidence you look at the statue at the shrine. That is correct. Zera would freak at the shrine of the dragon deity. He admired them. And so he accepted his creations as such. That's why we have this form. I don't know the Zera's dragons thought autonomous, bleh, autonomously. I feel a bit bad for always beating you guys up. Not that you guys don't deserve it. Typically, we do not think with our own minds. Our life is a short one. So forms are but a collection of energy given life. Also, they're like the transporter. As each passing moment we exist, we also cease to- Oh, no, excuse me, they're Mr. Meeseeks. I'm Mr. Dragon, look at me! As the energy that makes us exist is used up, we vanish. When I clashed with you, you used your power on me. The power that you used to quell what you call beast types. As a result, well, I was blown aback. I absorbed your power. I had been reborn. Not only that, I've been given the gift of autonomy. I could think for my own. I began to question my own existence and being. This confusion led to hatred. Yes. Let the hate flow through you. A hatred for being created to merely be destroyed by your hands. But do not worry. I don't know how to any such resentment towards you. It's not your will. <laughs> it was not by your will that I was given such a purpose. Okay, Dracula. You were created to be destroyed by me? I always thought you did that so crap whim without much regard as to whether it was you or me who died in the process. On the contrary. Your death is the last thing he wants. Yeah, he's horny for me. He prepares you for a day in the near future. He's... What? What's he preparing me for? That I do not know. Perhaps of note, but if you didn't watch that cartoon that Tammy made with, um... It's, a red, it's allegedly non-canon with this now. It's like an alternate universe thing, but... Uh, Claire and, uh, me... The house got, like, destroyed by a dragon, and we used our super secret power to kick their ass, so I guess that's kind of... I mean, not canon with this, as, like, specifically according to Temi, not canon, but it does bring to mind that words. That was a good sentence, yes. Very many, very many sentence types. I find that hard to believe. He ropes me into these schemes and throws me into situations that almost kill me. He always gives me those awful nightmares every other night. If anything, it seems like he just enjoys toying with me. He does find amusement in your suffering. Thanks. But beyond that, there truly is something you must face in your future. You must be ready for a peril worse than what you faced thus far. Should you successfully complete this challenge ahead, it is then that you must be wary of Zara. When that time comes, he will be your greatest danger. I like that kind of like interplay between the hero and the villain where it's like, you know what? I need you alive, but not forever. Just, just for one thing. And then I'm going to screw you up. I wish you could tell me more. I apologize. This is all that I know. But worry not. Before such a day comes, I will kill him by my own hands. <laughs> Japanese roaring sound. If I can beat you, I don't think you stand much of a chance against him. Let the dragon... Let the dragon have his dreams. So, in what way are you lost? I'm lost in purpose. I was created merely to be destroyed by you. I no longer desire that, so my purpose is, all, is lost. I don't know if that means you're lost. I mean, you found a new purpose, right? To kill Zara, I suppose. Well, sort of, but it's actually thinking the purpose is to keep on living, right? Perhaps. Is that not all of our purposes? All right. Well, I am Sir Tap Tap. This has been Dwelly's Empty Path. Turns out there's a lot of things on that path. Wasn't so empty, was it? But next time. I... what will we do next time? Well, I'll find it. I will finally find that hint bird I've been looking for like three episodes. Are you hint bird? 
no, no, that's not Hint Bird. Well, I'll visit Arm Lady, who is actually just exactly right here. So, see you next time. Remember to like and comment.